Hello again, YTPC. Happy Freedom Friday. It is Savinelli Friday for me. 320 KS. St. Nicholas 2022. In it, I have Sun Bear Tupelo from 2021. Sitting out enjoying the weather this morning, my friends. My little chipmunk friends and squirrels, they are not really making their appearance yet. I don't know. I've been kind of noticing that there's certain times of day that they're really out. And uh, sometimes at this time in the morning, I think they're out earlier than this in the morning. They're out like as soon as the sun comes up, and then they'll go back and they'll chill for a while till the afternoon. I don't know. Um, I'm not completely sure what I'm going to talk about in this video, but as always, it'll come to me. Uh, we're not going to camp this weekend. There's just too many plans with the. Uh, visiting family we got a lot of they have a lot of stuff planned so we're going to try to do as much of that with them as we can camping just wasn't going to work so that's fine um so i've been catching up on a lot of the youtube presenters i subscribe to and uh I'd say a good half of them are Team Freedom members, like myself. I don't discuss Team Freedom as much as what probably I should. Um, but I'm totally on board with um, <clears throat> what they believe in. I pretty much believe in. Um... If I was to ever go out and say that I truly believe that the United States is like the greatest country in the world, that I don't think that's the case anymore. I don't think that's been the case for quite a while, and that might piss off a lot of people. Um, in order to be the greatest country, I, I see other countries in the world that they might not even have as many freedoms as we have. But I, at the same time, I don't think their government is corrupt is as corrupt their institutions are as corrupt as what ours are in the United States and the uh, citizenry here obviously they don't have the stomach to do much about it <clears throat> at least it doesn't appear so <clears throat> so until that's rectified right now it's basically Everybody busts their ass in this country to pay an exorbitant amount of taxes to these very corrupt institutions. That's the way I look at it. Many can disagree with that. Uh, I don't know how you can because you you know you have a job. You should be seeing the same things I'm seeing. Um, just continue to fund. Uh, skirmishes throughout the world so the industrial military complex can get their huge huge make their profits uh, no named executives making billions along with our politicians in DC who of course get kickbacks for voting for all this shit until enough people decide to say enough's enough. Um, they're tired of funding bullshit and not actually funding the shit that matters. Um, we're not the greatest country in the world. Bottom line. You can like it or not like it. I mean, so much has been tainted now. It's, I don't even recognize 
the country that I live in anymore. It's so bad. Um, we got a media that's completely, just absolutely untrustworthy. Anything they report, there's a, there's a narrative to it, trying to shape your worldview into something that they want or need you to need you to believe I don't know it's uh things are pretty bleak to me right now but All we can hope for is there's enough people and I will use the King Freedom members as examples like them that are tired of the bullshit and want to actually fix the problem. And no, elections are not going to fix the problem. The elections are just another corrupted process. We don't have, in other words, we don't have as many freedoms as what a lot of people in this country believe they have. You don't even have freedoms, a freedom to think for yourself. You have to literally If you think for yourself, you are labeled a conspiracy theorist and uh, a nut. Many might laugh at that, but think about it. That's usually what happens. Once they start going against what the media is telling you, and they start throwing out, they start throwing out questions that are haven't been answered, can't be answered. Well, then they resort to, this guy's a fucking nut. You're censored, you know. If too much of what you're saying is starting to make too much sense on social media, you usually get banned, you get censored, you get blocked. Is that, the, is that a country that should be considered the greatest in the world? Not in my opinion. live in a country that, you know, if you say the wrong word, use the wrong word or wrong phrase, you're literally, you, you literally get attacked, okay? And they're usually by a weak, emotionally weak, um, individual who's probably under 30 years old. around there, that age bracket. It's what it usually is with me anyway. And I don't get upset. I feel sorry for them. That's what I do. I feel sorry for them because it, it's very apparent to me that most of our younger people, not all, luckily we still have some, you know, that that woke up early enough, they understand what exactly is trying to be done to them. But there's still so many that have just been indoctrinated to the point where they, um, they're so emotionally weak, they can't, they can't handle certain things being said. You know, facts. I mean, that's, that's the bottom line, facts. Um, they are in such a denial because they because of their belief system that they were programmed to believe. 
they it, any little thing sets them off and I feel really bad for them because I think they they just, they do not have the capability to do what is going to be needed to do and that's by design um, you, you're talking a huge percentage of our young males who have been emasculated they're, they're they don't know what it's actually what it means to be a man um I don't know. Thought it. It's time for another ramble, and uh, I don't know if YouTube will keep this video up. It's hard to say. But um, you know, I just see things, and uh, they they wear on me, and I just think it's eventually it becomes time where I have to have to speak up on my channel. Um, But anyway, it's a beautiful Friday. I hope everyone enjoys their Friday, enjoys their weekend. Kind of hard. It's up in the air. I'm sure I'll probably can. I will find time to make a video, at least one more this weekend. Um, but uh, yeah, today, hopefully it's not as windy as yesterday. It was so windy yesterday. I didn't spend as much time out here. Um, but. Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful day. We will be enjoying family time again most of this weekend, which I'm looking forward to. I hope you all get to do the same. Um, again, I always want to thank all my subscribers who make it back to the channel and comment and wish me a, you know, wish me the best. I always wish you the best. Um... And those who aren't subscribed to find find their way to the channel. I uh, appreciate you coming in, checking out the channel. Um, so, hope everyone has a great weekend. Until next time, keep them moving. <music>